this video, we're going to be looking at when a partner gets into the knee shield position from the regular half guard and starts to get their attacks going. So, if I've been unlucky enough to allow my partner to bring their knee through, it gives him the space to potentially bring that second one through, creating a frame against my body. And this frame's here, it's very difficult to do any of the previous passes we used to do with a half guard because these knees are in the way. So driving forward becomes very difficult now because he has a framework that stops us. So with this option, we're going to have two ways of dealing with it. The first one, we're going to look, depending on what the knee does, if the knee is strong, we're going to look to circle the arm in this gap here. Especially if there's gap in space, we bring the arm through. And I want to look to control the knee. By bringing the, the, the hand down close to the hip, potentially gives them the option of controlling the wrist, pulling through, and then using a sweep mechanic to force me over. So by putting my arm through, I put myself in a little bit of risk. When the shield's in here and I drive forward, it's very difficult to get close to my partner. So what I look to do, circle the arm into this space and control my hand, my hand controls the knee here. From here, I'm not in a great position to drive anywhere because I'm on my knees. So I come to my toes, I can put my hand down momentarily, cupping and controlling, I pop up, I bring my knee on the mid part of his thigh. So controlling the knee, I pop up, I bring my knee on the mid part of the thigh, and I still have that control of the leg. Notice how that leg's far away from his reach. Can't knee bar, be, knee bar me or he can't attack with any leg locks unless I bring my leg close, in which he can grab it. From this position, I want to lean my weight into my shoulder, putting all the pressure down. And with this wrap here, it's very hard for my partner to get his game going because I'm locking the legs down. If I can, I'm really looking to control this wrist. So especially if people are framing and pushing, I want it to circle, get some control. Once I've controlled the wrist, I can stuff it to the mat, I have something to hold on to. What I'm doing now is I'm slicing my knee behind my hand and I'm driving on this angle towards my other foot. I don't want to slice my knee all the way through because his leg's in the way. So I have to bring my leg through and as I slide my leg over, I drop my hip down, still keeping the control, I drop my shoulder hip down, destroying his legs. His legs are very much broken down now, they can't, they can't do much. From this point, I slide all the way through, the legs become free, I'm onto my toes. I'm going to use this position here to drive the head in. Again, aiming my head under the chin or the shoulder, but this is particularly more brutal because you can push it into the throat, into the, into the chin. Drive it forward, come out onto my toes. Drop my weight nice and low. My right arm, I want to flare open his bottom leg, stretching my partner out. When I stretch them out, I'm going to drive myself into that space. I have the control here. The head comes in. I use my head. Look how low my, my, my arch, my, my back is. And I drive a lateral angle across. I flare the knee. I drop the hips into this space here. Notice how I put the hips in first. Come back, please. The reason I have my hips in here is because I'm going to use them to walk him back, flattening my partner, then returning to the cross face. If I pass, my partner's on the side, and I'm here, and I try to go to the cross face, my partner's already on their side. So they, they have a good opportunity as I come round to turtle up and create the scramble. Once more. 
My partner gets the knee shield, very difficult to come forward. I circle my hand on the inside and control the knee. From this position, weight goes forward. <clears throat> if I need to put my hand down for a little bit of support momentarily, pop my knee up, pop the leg out. Looking here to hand fights, my partner looks to push me away. I control, I get the grip. My knee slices under my hand, across the knee, over the shin. And as I do, I put the weight down. I step through, always on my toes. Turning into my partner, nice and low. See how I step this leg over? From here, I drive, I drive, I drive into that space. My partner's semi on his side. So I drive my toes and I walk back the hips until he's completely flat. And I drive myself back into side control. Do this full speed. 